Regardless, if it's in a bottle or a can, I'm going to be reviewing the beer today. Oh, BC's Beer Review, BC's Beer Review, BC's Beer Review. This is what today is, Joe. It's another episode of BC's Beer Reviews. And you can feel that chill in the air, man. Winter is on its way. My day is outside reviewing beers. Just coming to an end. Close. Okay. This is September. And we ain't got many days left. So let's see what we got today. And it's Shorty's Brew Company. Most excellent Stella American Double India Pale Ale. Yeah, that's right. It's Bill and Ted. It's Bill and Ted. Now, I hate to say it, but I wasn't aware of this for their new movie, Bill and Ted Face the Music. Okay. I just happened to stumble upon this one. So this one is probably a little bit late past the date of the uh, release of the movie. So this one, sorry about being so late on this one, but if I didn't know, uh, I would have done it. And of course these guys are from Elk Rapids, Michigan, and these guys seem to be okay so far. So, uh, the APVs on here, ooh, that's, ooh, that's thick, ooh, that's what a double pale ale is supposed to look like, okay, yeah, Elk Rapids, Michigan, 12 ounces, uh, doesn't say what the APV is on here, well, no? let's see here, Man, it doesn't say what the APV is on here. So, uh, let's get the taste See? Yeah, it smells like IPA, yeah. Yep. You know, when I first got this, thought about doing it. I thought this was going to taste really crummy. I really did. And so far, I'm not disappointed. So, yeah. Well, you know, I hate to say it, but still, I don't know what the APV is on this. Doesn't show on the bottle anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, oops. <laughs> well, I figured it out. It's a 9.5 APV, and they use Amarillo hops. As you can see, it has a copper color, and I couldn't find anything on the ABU. So I'm assuming there's not, but I'm sure there is. It's just not showing it where I look. So it was a 9.5 ABV. And uh, like I said, Amarillo hops, copper color, full body, from what I'm judging. And uh, so far... It seems to be pretty good so far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is... I could taste... Taste it, yeah. This one's a bit stronger than the other hot IBAs that I've... Or IPAs I've had. This is definitely stronger. Like I said, this was in release of the movie... Which I didn't know until I picked up the, seen them sitting in the cooler at the store. And I picked up the Dragon's Milk beers. 
And I seen that. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a show on that. So here we are doing a show on uh, Shorty's uh, Brew Most Excellent Stellar American Double India Pale Ale Beer. And it's really bitter. It, it do, got that double taste to it, too. Yeah. And I think it was, what was it, four episodes back? Maybe five? Where I was craving for a IPA. Well, any craving that I've had left for an IPA is definitely being quenched by this one today. So, I mean, double IPAs are a little bit too much for me, man, for real. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad beer, but if you're in the double IPAs, I say go for it. Have it. Do it. So... I just like to think, well, I can't say for certain, but this one, I like to think they've always had this type of beer in their lineup or arsenal, if you will. And they just slapped the label on the bottle for the movie. So I don't know if it's an exclusive beer for this particular movie or, but I like to think it's. A beer that they've always had that they just slapped the label on so if I had to give this one a rating I would have to give this one a seven a seven because it's too bitter for me so I gotta give this one a seven rating and like I said this is September this is what September 14th that I'm recording today it's a Sunday okay and I think it's the 14th and the days are getting shorter and the days are getting colder and I'm just telling you now if you guys start watching my show eventually me coming out here on the deck doing my shows is going to be coming to an end shortly depending on the weather how cold it gets out here it really depends now I my I might do a Christmas Eve special where I generally do a Christmas Eve bonfire I was the Christmas music and I drink now <coughs> I might do a one on that so Stay tuned. We'll see. I'll figure something out. I generally have a bonfire on Christmas Eve. I got Christmas Day off. And I generally sit out here for about an hour, hour and a half, having a bonfire, drinking beers. And it's really nice. So we'll get into that when we get into that. So, but today we're talking about this. So if I would have known about this one sooner, I would have done this one sooner. So, I, like I've said, Michigan beers. Sorry, you know how I get what I'm drinking. If I would have known about this, I'm still learning these beers as I go. So, it's a complete learning process for me. So, please forgive me. I'm still learning. And you know how much I love doing my Michigan-based beers. And this is one of them. Like I said, they're from Elks Rapids, Michigan. I'm not sure where that's at exactly, but... I know they've got a few more beers that I can do, but I can bring more info to you, like I did on Bell's Beer Series or the Victory Beer Series. So, I'm not saying I'm going to do a series on them, which I probably could, but uh, these guys, I don't know. We'll see, okay? Well, like I've always said, hey, drink responsibly, don't do nothing stupid, peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl, and I'll see you next time on the next BC's Beer Reviews. BC's going to drink some beers to take a seat, baby, have no fear. He will certainly bring that cheer. So sit 